All right, so in this video, we're going to do exactly what we did before with the use manager, but now we're going to do it with the doors instead. So the doors over here are going to once again use a script, the, uh, let's see, where is it? Usable door script that we created in the last video. And uh, that is going to be used to control the door going up and down. We should have no need for an update function. All we're going to need though, is to implement our interface usable. All right, let's go ahead and fix this for me, please. Yes, please implement it. Thank you very much. I like to put this below right there. So we need the transform of the object we're going to be messing with. And let's just call that door. Let's go over to our use manager and start ripping things out that we no longer require. We can get rid of all of this junk now because it's going to be associated with the door itself. Let's uh, tidy things up. Let's go down to here. And all we need to do is call this activate door, door left, door right thing. So let's go back into here and see there's, sh I think there was something security door. So we have this security door where we control the opening and closing of the door. Uh, really, um, this usable door control over here should be my security door implementation. We're now going to close this out and add my usable method over here. That's exactly what I wanna do because I, this is just wasting my time doing it this way. So let's go ahead and close this one out. Let's rename this. So let's go to right click rename. Um, yeah, that's fine. And we're gonna call this usable security door. Usable needs to be implemented. Let's do that really quick. Uh, that should have added the function. There we are right down there, use. And uh, the activate door is now our use. So let's take this and just place it in here. So please make sure you go back and watch the videos where I actually implemented Activate Door. The funny thing is when I did that, I was kind of on the cusp of creating this whole usable um, situation. So we can get rid of the other use file now. So let's go back to Unity. And inside of here, let's nuke usable door control can go. So delete, delete. And security door should now be called use usable security door. At this time, I am differentiating between the security doors and the rest of the doors in Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, don't know why. I'm just assuming that at some point in the future, I will probably need to. So let's go ahead and close out of these scripts really quick. Yes, please reformat my line endings. So now, uh, because we've uh, used the functionality that was already here, when we click these things, it should make the rest of this stuff work. So let's go ahead and run our game and see what happens. So hit run, rotate our head, click right there. Uh, click the, that's the light. So I click the door and nothing currently happens. Oh, there's no association with the actual door yet, is there? What I want to do is come back over here, go to usable, so this is our security door. This is assuming the script is on the door and not the button. That's the way this one works and that's my flaw, is this is going to be attached to the button. So I wanna rename this technically as well to probably like um, usable security door button. And this is going to have access to a transform. So let's do public transform door. And I'll go through and rename all that stuff uh, in just a second. I wanna get the rest of this hooked up first. Double click this name and copy it. Yes, that name is quite long, but I approve of longer names that are descriptive than uh, short names that I forget what the hell they do. So let's click this, Control V, that right there, wonderful. Now let's go in here and make sure that these scripts are on our buttons. So let's see, this is the door control. It currently has no script, so let's go ahead and add the script there. Let's go to the other door now. Click up here, door control, usable security door button right there. And I am going to need to attach the transforms to this object, so this door right that's the frame, that's the door itself. So let's go back to the button, lock this, click on the door, grab this, drag it in there, perfect. And we'll come back over to the other side now and we will do the same up here. Grab the door, unlock lock, grab the door itself and move that there. Save things really quick. Oh, oh, play mode, okay. All right, doing it all over again. So come over here, add components, usable security door button and let's grab door, grab this. Drag you, drag you into there, rotate again, along the other side, click, click, unclick, click, add you there. 
and move this here. Now I get some comments from time to time about my setup. And as you just noticed me clicking things into the inspector and back and forth, the reason I have this set up the way it is, is because I like having the hierarchy and the project folder right next to the inspector because nine times out of 10, I'm moving objects between these two. Okay, so now that we have that set up, we've got those things all working. We can go back into the script now and uh, make the proper associations. Now, door is the object that's being transformed. So instead of it being door.transform, it should just be, or excuse me, transform.whatever, it should just be door because the door is the transform. So let's go ahead and replace all of these. Now, when I moved this current version in here, there's a good chance that the transforms on the doors got really messed up. So what we might notice is that uh, the doors don't open up properly. And that's something I'll have to go back into Maya to fix. Uh, although I could wrap this object in a game object and do some stuff over here. Let's hit run. I'm going to do a test now. Let's grab our camera, rotate it to the side, and uh, come down here. There's our light switch. There's our door. And as we can see, it, it's not opening up properly. Uh, the transforms definitely not in the right place that's for sure uh, let's move it to the other side and light switch and door and we can see the same problem there so i'm gonna have to go in here and figure out what's actually wrong and what is that object that is the button so somewhere i'm still affecting the button just moved there so let's go into the script and find out where that's happening so somewhere in here i'm still manipulating the transform of this object so let's just do a control f and hit for transform there we are uh that's the guy who's messing us up um, any other, in nope, that's the only transform, save, close, and bring it on back. Let's run again and see what happens. I'm assuming the door is still going to be messed up, but I'm hoping the button doesn't go flying somewhere else. Yeah, the door is still messed up, so we are going to fix that at a later time. I'm not going to worry about that. Right now, I'm really just trying to get a, this use manager set up so that we can go into the power manager. Great, so that's this video. Hopefully, you saw how easy it was to implement our own use manager and then create subscripts that are generic enough for us to place on multiple objects and, uh, you know, get everything working. Next up, now that this is all functioning, we're going to jump right into the power system and uh, um, make that function properly. Thanks, bye.